The CAS distributed environment consists of a single controller node, which is used to receive commands and schedule tasks, and a collection of worker nodes to perform data processing. Data is stored in memory across the worker nodes, and each worker node performs processing on the data locally before passing results back to the controller. The CAS environment is flexible, enabling more worker nodes to be added if more in-memory space is needed, or if more processing power is required. CAS scales to your memory and processing needs. Two major advantages of the CAS environment are speed and efficiency. Data can be processed quickly because it persists in memory, so no time is wasted repeatedly reading and writing data to disk. The flexibility of the environment means that you can use even extremely large data sets to generate complicated analytical models, as long as enough worker nodes are added to CAS. The data processing algorithms in SAS VIA are designed so that analytical processing is distributed efficiently among the worker nodes for parallel processing. This means that you can spend your time and effort refining and building models rather than worrying about how to manage data or parallelizing your algorithms for each analytical model of interest. Because we don't have to worry about how data is distributed in the CAS environment, we'll refer to the CAS controller node and the collection of CAS worker nodes as the CAS server for the rest of the course. We interact with the CAS server through CAS actions, which are individual processing tasks that we submit to the CAS server. They are essentially wrappers for parallel processing algorithms, and they can load data, transform data, compute statistics, perform analytics, and create output. A CAS action can be something as simple as counting the number of missing and distinct values in a data set, or something as complex as building an ensemble of decision trees to predict a target. We'll submit CAS actions to the CAS server using R Python through an API designed to mimic the feel of native Python or R code. Regardless of how we choose to submit commands to the CAS server, the controller receives our CAS action and performs the processing steps corresponding to that action. You can use SAS, Java, Lua, Python, or R to connect to CAS, so you can manage data and create analytical models using a variety of open source languages.